Let me talk this time about the end rules. In some books you are going to find the name theorems, end theorems. In other books you are going to find end laws. So anytime I'm going to say theorem or rule or law, if it comes to the Boolean algebra, means exactly the same. End rules. This is nothing else, just the product. A times zero. Anything times zero is going to give me always zero. A times one. A times one is going to give me always A. A times A is equal A. Someone could ask why A times A is equal A. Remember that A is the variable and A can be 1 or 0. So for example, if A is equal 0, I have 0 times 0 and gives me 0. If A is equal 1, so I have 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is equal 1. So this is why A times A is equal A. Now, if I have situation where I have to multiply A times not A, again, remember that A is the variable if A, for example, is 0, not A at the same moment is going to be 1. 0 times 1 gives me 0. Let's say if a is equal 1, not a at the same moment is going to be 0. 1 times 0 gives me 0. So this is why a times a naught is equal 0. Let's do some other examples. For example, I have a, b, times 0. Again, the concept is exactly the same. Anything multiplied by 0 is going to give me 0. Let me give you another example. For example, I have s t times 1. So, the answer for it is nothing else just st. Let's say I have uh, this property and I have a b times a b. We said that a times a is equal a. So that's why in this case a b times a b is equal a b. If I'm going to have situation similar to this property, uh, I'm going to have, for example, CD and I have CD, okay, NAND, okay, AND is the complement to the NAND. So simply I multiply complements, that's why my answer is going to be equal. Zero. If you are going to apply these properties to any other gates, the answer are going to be exactly the same. For example, if you are going to use A exclusive or B multiply by zero, the answer is going to be zero. Let me give you an example with the complements. For example, I have A or B times A nor B, okay? So, OR gate is the complement to the NOR gate. So, any time I multiply complements, my answer is equal 0. So, this is the end rule.